hi guys and welcome back i feel like it's been forever since i've sat in this spot and filmed something this is where i used to always sit whenever i first started on youtube my husband actually worked night shift so i had to find the room furthest away from our bedroom so that i wouldn't wake him up or disturb him so i figured i would sit down here today just for the purpose if it has good lighting so i wanted this video to be just something short and sweet if you will um, this coming Sunday is Mother's Day and it's a day up until like two years ago that was just like any other day I never thought anything of it and then once we started trying to conceive my first Mother's Day so in 2017 this will be my second Mother's Day so last year going into Mother's Day I was just like oh yeah it's Mother's Day no big deal and then that day came and even in the you know, hustle and bustle of Mother's Day and visiting. Because Levi and I's parents are both divorced, we have a mom and stepmom on both sides to visit with and give gifts to, so Mother's Day for us is very hectic, always. But even in the midst of that craziness, those eerie and just sad thoughts, somehow something, I don't wanna say triggered because I hate that word, but it was like something triggered it, seeing and um, you know a mom hug her babies or talk about you know mother's day being so special even getting on social media there are always pregnancy announcements you know i don't think there's one name singular that these are all announced but i do know that mother's day is one that couples or just women like to announce their pregnancy because it's their first mother's day and Although you want to celebrate your mama and you are so thankful for her and you're just enjoying being around her, it still is difficult to escape those those places in your mind. And I just wanted to, to make this and just say that I don't know you and I don't know your story, but I don't need to know you and I don't need to know your story for me to pray for you and just pray that you are wrapped in comfort and peace and love over Mother's Day. This holiday is just so different. I think once you're on this trying to conceive journey, it takes on a whole new meaning. Last year, I, like I said, I never really thought anything on Mother's Day until the day approached. And my sweet husband, who I do not deserve, and I, I always feel I do not deserve someone like him, I think he knew that it would be difficult, so whenever I woke up that morning, he had flowers waiting for me in a card with my dog's paw print. He stamped it in paint and then stamped the card, and it was like a happy Mother's Day from our, from our two dogs, and it may be silly, but it was just like that one thing that I needed, like, thank you. Thank you for recognizing that this holiday is not always easy for everyone, and and he just always knows what to say and he's just always my cheerleader in this journey. If I could give any piece of advice for this upcoming weekend, I would say take the time that you need. My plan is to stay off of social media as much as I can. I had a teacher one time say to me about, it was something about tattoos or piercings. So she said, I just don't get self-inflicted pain. You know, it's going to be painful, but you still do it. And so I am not going to put myself through self-inflicted pain by seeing the announcements on Facebook and seeing the happy first-time mamas. And I don't want to come across as if I am not happy for those. Um, it's just such a weird feeling. I'm happy for everyone else, but I am still sad for my husband and I. And we always dream that the next Mother's Day will be our first Mother's Day celebrating or our first Father's Day even. I don't want to exclude the dads but I would just encourage you to take a step back if you need to just go visit your mom on Saturday and keep Sunday as a stay in your home and watch movies day then by all means do that um find something I keep messing my hair because it's in my face I'm sorry find something or some ways to cope with Mother's Day, if that is staying off social media, or if that is celebrating being a dog mom, or a cat mom, or a fish mom, or a cow mom, or you may be your good aunt, you know, you love your nieces and nephews, or you have great cousins, like, 
celebrate it any way that you can. I always manipulate Mother's Day to Dog Mom Day. I am a dog mom and I may not be a mama yet, but I will be and I'm not gonna let that hold me back. And so I'm just going to push forward in ways that I know how to because this is a day to celebrate moms. And if you don't have a mom, I am praying for you as well. I have never experienced that and I, I've never in a million years could fathom how that feels. Um, Mother's Day is just a difficult day, I think, for a lot of people. Father's Day as well. So I just wanted to say that I'm praying for you and I love you all. Like I said, I don't need to know your story. I don't need to know your name, but you all will be on my heart this Mother's Day. One more piece of advice is to maybe connect with a friend through social media or a friend in you know face-to-face -face life that is also on your journey and go have lunch together or go get your nails done treat yourself pay for yourself be selfish for a day so yeah i will be thinking of you all on mother's day and it's just so weird to think that mother's day went from being a time of celebrating my mom to a time of of grief it's just it's a whirlwind, the fertility journey is, whether this be your first or your second, third, fourth, fifth. I, I think of those women experiencing secondary infertility and I wonder how this day is for them. They have the children and they are a mama, but I can only imagine the grief that they are still battling. It's just, it's such a hard time in women's lives. And yeah, I just, I, I can't fathom the pain of celebrating Mother's Day, but in the back of your mind grieving the child that you, you might have lost or that you are temporarily unable to conceive or you're in the waiting process for an IVF or IUI. I just, I don't know, my heart goes out to so many of you women. And sometimes I, I think that my story is so small and my journey has been so short compared to others, but regardless of the time, or the amount of doctor's visits or the blood draws or injections or however our story may look. We're in this together and yeah, I am lifting you all in, up in prayer and I hope that this day you find a way to just cope in a healthy way and that you find something to distract your mind from the, the grieving and the, the sadness of Mother's Day while dealing with infertility. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you all, and I thank you so much for your support in my journey. I hope I can offer that same support to many other women out there. Thank you guys for all of your sweet messages and your comments and just being a part of my journey. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.